We believe that you will learn more about how all the doctrines of Christianity and even the gospel itself rely on the foundation of creation and those early historical events in the beginning. If we can't trust the Bible on earthly things, which includes creation in six ordinary days and the global flood, why should we trust it on the heavenly things, which includes Jesus as God and Savior? How time is measured here in Genesis is the key to understanding or defining time, what constitutes a day. And this is very theologically significant because the Bible describes death as an intruder, an enemy, not the way it's always been. And yet the evolution story says that death was here for millions of years before Adam and Eve. When Adam ate the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, God in turn cursed the world. But it wasn't just the dirt that's cursed, the entire universe is cursed. God's providence was helping Noah and the ark animals survive the flood. And in fact, everyone living prior to the time of Noah's flood lived on average over 900 years. But notice by the time you get down to the patriarchs Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they're living less than 200 years. Jesus taking Genesis as it's plainly written said that God created man and woman at the beginning. Don't you think we should take his word for it?